what was the initial idea that made me want to start my business? It was literally God. I remember getting a download. I was working a nine to five job. I, I was absolutely miserable making 50K per year. And I knew that I was meant for more than just sitting in a desk job all day long working for someone else. And I knew that I could help women become their own boss. I love entrepreneurship. I love making money. And so I just moved. My biggest challenge was trying to please everyone instead of actually speaking to the client that I wanted to speak to. I tried to please so many people that I stayed away from being who I actually am. And who I am is a part of Freedom Queen. It's you love taking action, you love making money, you love being the most, you love moving, and you want to build a million dollar, multi million dollar movement. So I just like was so afraid to actually speak my mind and be who I am that I ended up attracting people and it's nothing with them, everything with me, people that I didn't want to work with and that weren't actually going to be a successful business owner. And the minute I just got fed up with myself and said, you're going to start speaking the way that you actually speak, you're going to start speaking your mind on social media, I started attracting absolutely incredible women that wanted to build million dollar movements and now I get to work with dream clients that actually are serious about building a, an online movement. The more you try and please everyone else, the less money you're going to make. I knew Freedom Queen was going to work after I failed. I got off seven awful sales calls. Everyone told me no or said yes and straight up ghosted me. I had New York City rent due, student loan payments due, plus I was traveling the world living the Freedom Queen life, but I needed money at the time. And after those seven failed sales calls, I set up a funnel, high ticket funnel, finally got someone to say yes and I was like, this is going to work. I was living in Costa Rica in my bathing suit, running around. I'm like telling my boyfriend, I just made $2,500. This is going to work. And uh, right after that, I hit my first 10K month and never, never stopped moving and, and scaling since then. When I hit a million dollars, I was actually going through a lot of challenges. I feel like that's always how it is. You'll be going after something, going for a huge win, and then bam, something crazy happens to you. And it, I, honestly, it's just there to serve you and help you get stronger. As soon as I hit the million dollars, I just remember thinking back to who I was when I first started my business. I just wanted to make $5,000 a month and work for myself and be able to travel the world. And to think that I took my yearly salary and now make more than that in a month, is, it's just absolutely insane. Whenever I have a win, the first person I go to is myself and God. I'm just like, we did this baby. Like, you did this, you made this happen. Go to God immediately because God has literally given me every single thing that I've ever asked for in life. Person-wise, uh, it depends on each, for the million dollars, I think I went to my boyfriend. He was in my house, I just ran downstairs. I'm like, Fry, I made a million dollars. And then I called my mom. <laughs> Extremely proud. Extremely. We, <laughs> this is we, amazing. Moment. We knew she'd be famous the day she was born. God gave us a gift. She made it happen. And we're making great memories. <laughs> How has hitting one million changed my daily life and mindset? I, when I hit a million dollars, I, I, I didn't really realize it. It didn't really even sink in. And I thought that making a million dollars would make me be like, yeah. This is awesome! I'm so excited! This is amazing! But it really didn't change me that much because I just look at a million dollars as, honestly, this is not a lot of money. This is just the beginning. And it opened up so many more doors for me because I know that I want to work with women that look at a million dollars and go, that's not a lot of money. I want to make a lot, a lot, a lot more because they can see the amount of impact that that making a million dollars creates and beyond that. So when I say a million dollars is not a lot of money, I'm not saying like, oh, you know, at making a million dollars, I'm not grateful for that. But it just feels like this is just the beginning for Freedom Queen and for Bridget James Lang.
my future plans to take Freedom Queen to a whole other level is to take it to a whole other level. When I see Freedom Queen, and the reason why making a million dollars was not a lot of money to me is because I see us doing million dollar days, million dollar hour, million dollar minutes, and it's not even about the money, but it's about creating something that is defying all odds. Whenever I talk about Freedom Queen, it's this. It's not that you're selling a bunch of things on the internet, or you're signing on a lot of clients, or you're going viral on social media. It is about creating something that lasts on this planet and goes with you wherever else you're going to after this planet. So yeah, Freedom Queen's gonna make a lot more money. Freedom Queen's gonna have international conferences and events. Freedom Queen is going to have thousands of women inside of the movement. But honestly, Freedom Queen's gonna wake up the world.